Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Pi topping um, with a webcam um, through the Raspberry Pi. And uh, the purpose of this demo is to show you how you can do quite complicated things um, quite simply and all is done through uh, your logo program. Um, so what we want to do here is to use a USB webcam which is right now connected to the Raspberry Pi. It's right up there. Uh, this is a you know simple ten dollar webcam that I found, and we'll use this webcam to detect um, whenever there's a face in the frame, and then when it finds a face, it will show a greeting sign, hello, um, which is mounted on a um, servo motor. Okay, now the servo is controlled by the pie topping board, which is done quite simply. Um, through the uh, Go Go Widget program, which you see right here. So let's start with the servo. So let's see. So it's connected to port A and servo. Let's see. Now I want it to say hello like that. So whenever a face is found, it should go to position, you know, around 30. And then. 10 would hide the sign, so something like that. Okay, 10 and 30, very good. All right, next is the uh, webcam. Now, to access the webcam, you can go to the uh, Raspberry Pi tab on the software. Um, everything is disabled right now because um, the, Go the Pi topping board is not connected to the Raspberry Pi yet. So that's what we'll do next. <coughs> Okay, so we simply attach them together like that. And then you will see that the interface um, comes to life. Um, there's a custom Python script that is running on the Raspberry Pi that communicates with the board and sends basic information about the Raspberry Pi. For example, you'll see the IP address and you know other information. But there's also a camera control section as well that you can play with. Um, and these are all for testing. Everything can be done through the logo uh, program. Um, but let's try to turn on the camera. Let me switch it on, yes. And if your Raspberry Pi is connected to the uh, network, you can also see a preview of the image as well. And the image is sent through the, the network. Um, yeah, that's me with the camera. Let's do another one with a proper smile. All right. Okay, so we can also test the uh, face detection or find face feature as well. So we click on the start find face. And wait until it says searching here. All right. And then whenever it finds a face, it'll report to you there. So that's my face. Notice that it's not updating the you know image in real time you have to press the preview you know button if you want to see it and that's just a design um, choice that we've made uh, we might change it later that's we'll see okay so for now we'll stop we'll close the camera um, because everything's working now we go to the final step the important one is our logo program all right, and it's quite simple, as you can see. Um, the program starts by saying, use camera, that turns on the camera. Then start find a face, which starts the face detection process. And then we have a loop here, um, forever. If a face is found, um, it sets the servo to position 30 and then beeps. If not, it sets the position of the servo to position 10. That's it. Let's see if it works. Okay, so here's the setup. So I have the Raspberry Pi and the Pi talking board at the back here. And I've mounted the servo to the webcam. It fits in quite nicely. And then...
that worked pretty well. And before we finish, I'd just like to show you that um, the logo program can also be written graphically using a blocks environment um, called Tinker that we're developing. Um, so, all right. Well, I hope that shows you a good example of how we are extending the use of robotics through the logo language um, by making use of the tremendous opportunity offered by the Raspberry Pi. And we're hoping to add other things like sending emails, sending text messages, accessing websites, and you know, all those other interesting things that you can do. And hopefully package it in a way that um, children can make use of them in meaningful ways. Thanks for watching.